BTN, we seem to be pretending to be scientists an awful lot. My most perfect achievement yet. But we've got nothing on Rahan here. At just 10, he's one of the youngest people in Australia to become an author of a scientific paper. So how do you go from wannabes to legit? Well, it all started with his love for exploring the ocean. The ocean is like a whole different world itself. While he was snorkelling, he observed something interesting going on with an octopus. When I looked really close, I could notice that there was a fish next to it. I thought it could be by coincidence, but it wasn't. It was actually following it. I told my dad and he didn't believe me at first. But as a researcher of animal behaviour himself, Rahan's dad, Ru, challenged him to test his observations. See, that's how science works. Big discoveries don't just come from one observation. Is this water always blue? Scientists use something called the scientific method. I know all about that because I'm definitely a real scientist and not just pretending to be a scientist. Basically, the scientific method involves observing something, asking a question about it, in this case, does the brown-spotted wrasse fish always follow around the WA common octopus? The next step is forming a hypothesis, which is a theory or an idea about how something might work. Like, I think this fish is following this octopus. Then you have to test your hypothesis and gather evidence. For a year, Rahan did this, snorkelling at four different beaches in Perth to find octopuses and see if wrasse fish were hanging nearby. We saw it a couple more times. Which meant they could go to the next step, recording their results and drawing a conclusion. The fish was following the octopus, leading to a new hypothesis that the fish was taking advantage of food that was disturbed by the octopus when it moved its arms around. It's something called nuclear follower behaviour. And while it's been seen with other animals, thanks to Rahan, it's the first time this budding friendship has been noticed. I've spent so much time in the ocean and it's not something I've ever seen. We wrote a scientific article. But there's another important step in the scientific method that Rahan and his dad had to go through, the peer review process. That's when you share your findings with other real scientists to see if they agree with your conclusions. Ah, Kale, here's my findings about the blue water. Blue water? You know we're not real scientists. Oh, I'll take a look anyway. In Rahan's case, his discovery was reviewed and has now been published in a CSIRO journal. Having the research published is a really impressive achievement. So, the obvious question? Does Rahan want to be a scientist when he's older? Of course I do, because all the sci science is kind of my thing. That makes one of us, Rahan.